Well, hi, everybody. This is Sean Clement here coming from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center, wishing all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This will be the last uh, video we put out uh, before January 1st. And then uh, check out our new um, uh, watchdog blog coming up on my new website that you see at the bottom of the screen here. And we got some great exciting stuff for you coming next year. A lot more execution on the golf course. Um, you know, and we got uh, a lot of fun stuff. So to end the season off, little Christmas gift to you here, a couple of power drills. All right, not the power drills they're thinking about, power drill, drills for power in golf. Um, now, the, the, the issue that I've seen the most um, in uh, a person getting to that next high level of golf as far as ball striking is concerned, um, I know a lot of you have you know, you're looking for that particular swing plane in the back swing. You're looking for that balanced position. And there's something happening through impact that you can't quite put your finger on. Uh, if you go to my transition uh, video, that's a big one right there. And uh, you remember us doing the fine tuning the best drill, the drill with the feet together. Well, these two drills here are going to help you put that package together to get to that next level, okay? Obviously, my DVD is going to help you that, do that too, but this right here is going to be a big one. It's good stuff. Now, you're going to latch on to one of these two drills. One of these two drills is going to work for you. Um, and that's this what, he, what we found in, in many of our students um, I would say about 50% of the students couldn't do one of these drills and did extremely well in the other and vice versa. Okay, so I'm going to give you both of them right now and uh, then I'm looking forward to your feedback after, afterwards, okay? So you remember the feet together drill. <clears throat> so we're going to do a little variation here. We're going to add, uh, you know, the, the happy Gilmore in that feet together drill. So we went from a nice range of motion giving that nice catapult effect through the ball. Thing is, when your feet are apart, you need to make sure that you've got something solid planted in that left side through impact or well before impact because you have to anticipate this big burst of inertia coming through the shot. If you're on your right side and you're swinging through, you notice how it has a tendency to pull me around like a rag doll because I'm, I'm not braced on that left side yet. So you take your normal setup. You're going to put both feet together into your right side, right? So you just bring your, bring your left foot to your right foot and just keep your club in front of you here. Now you're going to take a backswing. So as you take that nice centered backswing with your feet together, I want you to do it in a way where you're, you're really going to feel some nice momentum and then you're going to start falling toward the target. So in other words, you are falling butt first towards the target. And the instinct is going to be to catch yourself. Once again, you want to catch yourself with that left foot. So it's going to look like this. You want to definitely hear the left foot plant way before the swish of the club. Remember the swing sequence video, okay? So let's try that again. Feet together. All right, so you notice how that left foot planted well before the, sw the swish of the club. So from this angle here, if we, I don't wanna put a hole in the wall, it'll look like this. So you notice I'm well planted through that left hip, left knee and left ankle. I don't wanna plant into the toes of the left foot. I don't want to feel like I'm planting into the heel of that left foot. And then from there, everything will un unwind. It'll feel like it's unwinding well right. You'll see how it'll un unwind right down the line. So let me show you that one more time. And there it is, okay? Now for some of you, you'll have a tendency to plant either too wide, not wide enough. Um, it'll be a difficult movement to coordinate for you at first. So 
<clears throat> we're going to try a different way. All right. And this has been successful with a lot of my students as well. So we start off here. We're going to take a, a nice backswing. And as we're taking that backswing, we're going to step forward into the ball and then hit the shot. So we're only stepping with that left side. So it's going to look like this. Once again, the plan happens well before the swish of the club. And you'll also notice that as my hands are passing the knee, that's when I start stepping. Don't wait until you finish your backswing to start stepping. It's too late by then, okay? So it's toss, plant whip. One more time, toss, plant whip. Okay, now the, the advantage of this is you need to be able to toss the club, right? We talked about abandoning the club to gravity in the backswing and how important that is. And you'll see that if you never let go of your arms, you'll, you'll never be able to shift your weight properly. So the arms have to be given away. You have to delegate the task of the arm swing to gravity. So once you toss them away, it's like they disappear behind this veil. Don't worry, they're still there. You haven't lost control of the club. You've just given the control of the club and the arms to, to levitation of gravity and inertia here, okay? So it's toss, plant, whip. So as they're levitating, now everything's light and you can step and anticipate that big burst of inertia coming through on the other side. So if you are properly braced well before impact, then you'll have no issues at all. You'll see the burst of momentum through that shot is just amazing. You go watch Jack, Sam, Ben, Bobby Jones, they all move this way. If you look at um, uh, uh, VJ and you look at Stuart Appleby, th they all have that same tempo, that heel comes up slightly in the backswing, then they plant, then they whip through the shot. That's the sequence. So <clears throat> then after you've done what I'd recommend, you do four swings with one of those two drills, and then four swings with your method of doing that particular sequence. So it's either plant the heel or roll and re-roll the foot. So it's or, and you'll, you'll just start feeling that nice levitation in that backswing. You'll feel how those arms get pulled toward the target as you clamp down or as you squat. So everything's relaxed, then you get the squat, and when you get that squat, that's when you get that nice tension built up through those big back muscles, and that's what's going to catapult that arms and club unit through that shot and towards your target, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, you know, have a look at the new website. You'll see uh, the Watchdog blog. You'll see that uh, all my 67 videos are now uploaded on my website. You can have access to them anytime you want. And... We'll see you in the new year. Take care.